Today on Discover Wisconsin, we take you to a place aptly known as Wisconsin's Great Outside. Adventure, culture, and accessibility make this city the perfect destination for families of all shapes and sizes. Come along with us and spread your wings in Janesville. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. Janesville is celebrated for its abundance of recreational and cultural activities. And whether you come for the more than 30 miles of hiking and biking trails or for its art scene, there's fun to be had for all ages. Janesville is located in southern Wisconsin, right near the Illinois border. With its proximity to the Rock River and over 2,600 acres of parkland, the city is a prime destination for migrant birds as well as the individuals who seek them out. I love birding because it gets me outdoors to reconnect with nature. It's a fascinating hobby because it changes every time you go out because the birds are constantly moving around. So there's a lot of habitat spots out there for birds to find to, to nest in. To me, that's the biggest thing is you provide the habitat and the birds will find it. In 2013, the city of Janesville was designated as a bird city, meaning the city has gone above and beyond to provide a healthy habitat for migratory birds that in many cases are struggling. Many of our, our bird species, especially our songbirds, have experienced quite considerable population declines and you know, we just need to kind of increase public awareness of those concerns that bird populations are decreasing. And so Janesville is just a, a good little oasis for them. A half day in the park or a couple hours in the park, there's a turkey vulture, right up in the flying up, up in the air. For a lot of birders, the thrill comes from unexpected and even rare sightings. And since Janesville resides on the southern border of the state, it can be a hot spot for some of the most extraordinary bird sightings in Wisconsin. We found Mississippi kites nesting in Janesville. It's the first documented nesting of uh, Mississippi kites in the state. It's a southern bird that rarely shows up in Wisconsin. We actually found, what, found a nest. In this park, we had a summer tanager that spent the summer here, which is another rare bird that rarely shows up in Wisconsin. I do like to find the rare birds. Those active in the birding community, as well as anyone who enjoys nature and wildlife, flock not just to the Robert O. Cook Memorial Arboretum, but also to Rockport Park. At 246 acres, it's the city's largest park and home to the Peace Park Playground and Pavilion. It's a fantastic place to enjoy a day out with friends and family, and birders love it for the vast trail system and variety of natural bird habitats. Janesville is an excellent place to bird because of all of the interesting um, features that attract birds, like the kettle moraine topography, all these prairies, forests, water areas. And some of these parks, like the Rockport Park, has a wonderful creek that brings the birds in. Once you have water in a park, you can attract a lot of wildlife, specifically birds. And it has a wonderful variety of trees. It's a beautiful park in terms of scenery. So it's, it's gorgeous. What more could you ask for? Taking in the scenery and wildlife with a relaxing day at the park, what more could you ask for? But in Janesville, it's only the beginning. Get more ideas for your trip by watching all of our Janesville episodes. Just download the Discover Wisconsin channel on any streaming device. Coming up, the sights in downtown Janesville are big 
bold and beautiful. Don't go away. Welcome back to Janesville, here on Discover Wisconsin. Look at that, that's a tractor up there. Scenic beauty is not exclusive to the city's parks, and taking a stroll through any of the downtown's 13 historic districts will uncover an art scene bursting from the inside out. Public art is so important to a community, and Janesville really wanted to really infuse it throughout the area. Public art is something that you can enjoy 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It doesn't matter what age you are, what abilities you have, you could always come and enjoy the art in your own way. Now, what do you think about the colors here? Because you got pink in yeah, this pink one. And, white. and, and then the blue moon. and the purple. I like the yellow. Which one of those things doesn't belong? What kind of bone? Exactly. But see, bone, it ends in bone. That's why it's there. But like a trombone. Yes, yes. <laughs> like, yes. It's kind of humor to this one. Originally created for the city's annual art infusion event, the most recent additions to the city's mural collection do more than just add beauty to the otherwise bustling community. In many cases, they speak to the city's rich history as well. This mural is Waves of Giving, and it was done by Jamie Brown and Karim Javari. And this really represents the Janesville community. The arrows at the top represent the forward thinking of the city and the city leaders. The diamonds on the right are a stalk of wheat from its earlier days as an agricultural community. And the two purple circles that intersect show a woman looking down. And she might be working on making a quilt or making dinner, but it really reflects the heart of the home. So this really reflects the homes and families and the heartbeat of the Janesville community. The artwork around the city may reflect the homes and families of Janesville, but it also enriches them just makes for a nice whole afternoon as a family. And now, like, we found some places that we haven't visited, so coffee shops or, or little places to eat, too. So you could really make a, a nice afternoon of it on a beautiful day. Every day when we come through the downtown, we see people walking and stopping to look at them and enjoying them. It's not just people who work and live downtown. People are really coming here as a destination to come and see the art and learn about the art. And while they're here, they might find a new restaurant, a new retailer, or something new to do in the downtown. So they've really enhanced the entire downtown. Enhancing Janesville has long been the goal for our next stop. If you think a library is just a building that holds books, think again because the Hedberg Public Library is a pillar of community engagement in Janesville that offers so much more. The Hedberg Public Library is a real community hub here in Janesville. Certainly our location is part of that being downtown, but we like to think that we've got our finger on the pulse of what's going on here in town. We have local artists who display their work and then uh, we have, we used to have just a couple small display areas. Now we have many with our renovation and we uh, rotate those on a monthly basis as well. So it might be a community organization uh, showing you know, what they're involved in or like this month it's the, the trains are on display, local guys who have trains and they come and they talk about how the train service used to be in Janesville. They have photographs that they share, and then, of course, they end with a large program where they bring in their trains and kids come with their parents and look at that. We've always got some sort of program activity going on. Up next, we work up a sweat with some of Janesville's more unique athletic opportunities. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Discover Wisconsin. Today, we're in Janesville. In addition to its art scene, another thing that Janesville prides itself on is their reputation as a community that stays active and enjoys being outside. No doubt you're familiar with the Cardio Classics, but some spots in Janesville provide access to much more unique ways to get moving. We're going to start between the two T markers, all right, and then our goal is to hit it in the hole down the fairway. Foot golf is just uh, an opportunity to get people that are not 
typical golfers out on a golf course experiencing, you know, the nature and just the openness of being out um, and being able to play a sport that's, you know, fun and exciting and new. Um, it's not something that a lot of people typically do. Foot golf might sound like something we just made up, but it's actually played all over the world. There are professional leagues, universally recognized rules, and a worldwide foot golf federation. And right here in Janesville, the Black Hawk Golf Course has found a way to host foot golf right alongside its traditional counterpart. So you play nine holes just like you would uh, a normal round of golf here. The holes are a little bit shorter than the golf holes, um, but you do still play kind of the same order. You know, you don't have to be a good soccer player to play it. I mean, you don't have to be a golfer to play it. You know, it's good for your young and old. If you can kick a soccer ball, you can play the sport. Come on. As my kids and I found out, foot golf was a lot of fun, but also challenging. I think it was a lot harder than it looks. At first, it's like, okay, this is, you know, soccer kind of mixed with golf. But um, aiming the ball and, and how many times it takes to get there, there's a lot more skill um, that goes into it than I originally thought. And it was a lot of fun. Nice. What did you think about foot golf today? It's a pretty good, good, it's a good fun game. game. Yeah, it's a really fun game. So foot golf combines soccer and golf. But what happens when you combine ping pong and tennis? It's a not so little sport called pickleball. And at Janesville's Riverside Park, it's a big deal. In fact, they have six full courts dedicated to one of the nation's fastest growing pastimes. As long as you move your feet and you have good hand-eye coordination, it's, it's a fun sport to learn. You don't have to be an athlete to be out here. We have people from age eight to 90 playing pickleball. My kids and I were super excited to give this sport a try. And fortunately for us, the Janesville Pickleball Club was available to show us how it's done. I love the camaraderie. I mean, I, I have met so many nice people. They are fun, competitive. It's just a great place to get exercise. It's just a fun sport for everybody. There's no question that the players we met were having a good time. The Janesville Pickleball Club has players at all levels, from beginners to tournament level competitors. And if you're in the area and want to give it a go for the first time, Riverside Park is the place to be. Anybody is welcome to play here. Um, we have lessons on Wednesday evenings from 6 o'clock to dusk. And we also play Monday evenings, Mondays through Friday in the mornings, and Saturday mornings as well. We have such a great group of um, pickleball players. They do so much for their community. Our group has a lot of heart and we're all there for each other. We support each other and that's what makes it fun as well. We're really lucky to have Riverside Park. The courts are brand new courts. They keep them up. Um, it's really great family fun. Everyone's very friendly and welcoming and they were giving us tips and walking us through the game. So it's almost like it being coached the first time, which was really nice. And then the crew got involved. So we all kind of played together. My kids absolutely loved it. I think by the end of it, they were really getting the hang of it. Want to hear about our production team's adventures when we're out filming? Stream the official Discover Wisconsin podcast, The Cabin. Coming up, more family fun on two of Janesville's most iconic family farms. Stick around. Discover Wisconsin is back in Janesville. Did you miss us? The city and surrounding areas of Janesville have a long and notable history. The first settlers arrived here in the summer of 1835. And by the mid-1840s, the Skelly family had started farming the area, and they are still farming the area. But as you can imagine, a lot has changed since then. We were a traditional um, Wisconsin farm. We had dairy at one point, cash crops, all that. And in the late 80s, uh, we started to grow a few rows of sweet corn around our house, which eventually transitioned into adding more produce and eventually to the point where we sold our cows and this became the, the full-time business for us. The full-time business he's talking about is an interactive, year-round farm market complete with activities for families, a gift shop, and a bakery. 
We make a lot of things in-house. We have uh, homemade donuts, and those change with all the seasons, which makes us a little unique. It's not just apple cider donuts. We got strawberry donuts, uh, pumpkin donuts, blueberry donuts, raspberry donuts, depending on the, the season going on. Speaking of seasons, you can pick your own strawberries in the summer, but come in the fall and you're in for a real treat. Between finding that perfect pumpkin. This one was the roundest one I could find. And those hard to resist apple cider donuts. We had one of the apple cider donuts, they were good. You might not want to leave, but bring your kids and you might not be able to. Between the always evolving year round playground and the two self designed corn mazes, there's plenty to do for kids of all ages. It's been kind of a tradition the last few years is to go through the, the corn maze and try to not get lost. <laughs> we can spend hours here. The corn maze is, is always fun because you can just wander and the kids have fun finding the clues even, even if it goes out of order. They get to use their map skills. Mm -hmm. and it's and just we, very friendly too, the atmosphere is very friendly. Like everyone yeah. here is really Oh yeah, we love nice. the Skellies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we know the family and we love the Skellies. Skelly's Farm Market offers plenty of family fun down on the farm. But when it comes to learning more about the Dairy State's namesake, one must look no further than Deluge Farms, where your family can get an up-close and personal tour of these bovine beauties. I think the biggest thing that they can experience on our farm is just using their imagination and just using all five senses. And they can hear the cows, they can smell what's on the farm, and of course they can taste the ice cream treat that we provide for them. Um, but it's just nice to see the kids out here and see where their food comes from. We are so excited that you're here, and has anyone been on a farm before? And the most important thing that we like to um, tell the families is we're a working dairy farm. Things are always getting moved around. We're moving cows around. We're fixing equipment. Fixing equipment and hauling manure every day. It's definitely not the most glamorous job, but we really <laughs> love what we do. And we work as a family, which makes it even more exciting. <laughs> Working together has long been a tradition for this family. The Deluge Farm is actually a fifth generation Janesville dairy farm. You could say that hard work is part of their family's tradition which is pretty convenient because there's plenty of responsibilities to go around. We milk 130 cows two times a day. So this is soybean meal, and this is the cow's source of protein. But showing kids a day in the life of a farmer doesn't always have to feel like hard work. And at the end of the tour, the Deluge family hopes that each child comes away with something special, besides the ice cream. I want them to feel like they have an experience in a lifetime memory that they can come back to our farm each year to experience that farm life. Feeling that need to return isn't exclusive to the Deluge family farm. From exploring Janesville's expansive park system to diving into the bustling downtown art scene, there's no question that the city, known as Wisconsin's Great Outside, is worth returning to year after year, season after season. Janesville is truly a gem in southern Wisconsin and ready to be explored. Stream Discover Wisconsin anywhere, anytime. Continue the adventure on Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Roku, Smart TV, Chromecast, and discoverwisconsin.com.